Hello everyone, this is Douglas Rinali, Founder and Chief Strategy Officer of NetNumber, located in Lowell, Massachusetts, here at Mobile World Congress 2017. So NetNumber is a technology vendor specializing in signaling control. Our role in the ecosystem is to help service providers drive cost out of their signaling control network and figure out how to accelerate innovation in their networks and services. Mobile operators struggle with constantly increasing complexity because we're continually introducing new forms of technology. Here at the show today, we're talking about 5G. It seems like 4G just started. So this constant innovation of networking technologies translates into constantly growing complexity in the core of the network. Our core technology that we deliver is a multi-protocol signaling platform called Titan. On the Titan platform, we deliver 19 different signaling control functions. At any point in time, the industry is focused on particular features of those functions. So, hot topics right now, signaling security, particularly SS7 and SIGTRAN and diameter. Also, virtualized STP DSC are hot topics for us now. We're also here uh, with several partners. Nuisance calling is being introduced as a problem around the world. We're here with First Orion, uh, Privacy Star, where we work jointly to create nuisance calling solutions for operators. In addition, we're seeing a focus in the industry on private LTE networks. The ability to collapse the LTE network down into truly a private core that can be implemented by large enterprises, for example. We're here today with uh, Parallel Wireless, a company that specializes in virtualized EPC, combined with a virtualized signaling core from Titan, creates a very exciting opportunity for private LTE. Initially, virtualization actually increases cost for operators. So they've got a complete infrastructure today. So if we rebuild the infrastructure as a virtualized network, costs go up initially. The goal, though, of virtualization is to move to a software network where we can totally change the definition of success in terms of upgrading the software, we can make changes on demand, so innovation accelerates, and it changes the way we think about network resilience. If we're no longer deploying fixed hardware platforms that have to be specifically backed up and protected, you can think of the network as many small software instances that are allowed to fail, because recovery is very quick and simple. So it changes the pace of innovation, and it changes the definition of how we introduce resilience into the network. So IoT, end to end, is the opportunity for operators to rethink at a very fundamental level, how do they build technology? How do they deploy technology? We're no longer talking about my 16-year-old daughter downloading Netflix, right? Or streaming Netflix. We're talking about an explosion of devices with totally different characteristics, totally different way that they use the network, and totally different price point. So as we introduce this, this is the chance for operators to say, how do I do it totally differently? How do I take advantage of the scale of the cloud, for example? This, I think, is both the challenge and opportunity that's presented by IoT today.